to reflect who we are and what we hope to build, I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Facebook, Nvidia, and Microsoft are showing great interest in the metaverse. I'm not a big fan of Mark Zuckerberg, but what this tells us is that the next big thing in the internet is the metaverse. And two of the things that go hand in hand with the metaverse are blockchain gaming and NFTs. Right now, Axie Infinity is the leading blockchain game. So if you've never heard of it, it made a lot of people rich. Like, look, uh, the price in November 2020 was uh, 14 cents, and it's now it. it it topped a few days ago at $160 so that makes 160 divided by 0.14 that's 1000 times that means if you put a thousand dollars into it a year ago you would have a million dollars right now so right now the fully diluted market cap or the total value of the project is at 35 billion dollars that's 35 billion dollars for a relatively simplistic uh, mobile game like this one what this tells us is that this is just the start. Now, let's imagine if the same earning mechanics was implemented in a fully produced AAA game, right? Imagine how crazy that would be. There are already some AAA developers that are working on their own blockchain game like Big Time, but I think there is still a lot of potential for indie game developers. For example, look at this game, Mononoke Inu. Alright, let's look at the footage. Alright. Okay, so that was uh that was decent. Now look at its value. Alright, so we can see here that the market cap of this game is 116 million dollars 116 million dollars for an unreleased game that looks like this i'm uh, no disrespect to mononoke inu but you know i mean let's be honest here we've seen a lot of uh, game jam games that look much better than this let's look at another example all right so this is a much bigger one i think at least this one already has a playable game, so if, if you want to try it, you can play it. Okay, so I think we can see that it's uh, much better than Mononoke Inu, but it's uh, it's 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 not it's not special. I mean, I mean it it looks like something that would place I don't know like top 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 one hundred on a game jam game on game jams maybe. Now let's look at its value. So that game that we just looked at has a value of two billion dollars for a game that looked like that. Now of course I understand that the value is this high because people are going into it for the for the earning mechanics and not for the game itself, but imagine if the game was fun, right? Imagine if the game was actually good, how much more people it would bring in. Now what does this have to do with us Godot developers, right? Well, I'm telling you this because Engine, one of the leading platforms when it comes to digital assets, has partnered with Godot. So they built an SDK for us Godot developers so we could also make blockchain games. With Engine SDK, you can easily and rapidly build next-gen blockchain games in Godot without writing a single line of blockchain code. So yeah, I just wanted to make you guys aware that we can do this, I guess. Now I'm saying this to spread awareness to those who are already experienced in uh, game development and who are familiar with cryptocurrency in general. If you're not into crypto or NFTs, don't get into it now because of me. Because I don't want to be responsible for you losing your mom's life savings because of this. Uh, if you're new to game development or crypto in general, then I suggest you keep learning and get yourself familiar with it. But for those who are already experienced, I wanted to spread awareness of this because uh, as you saw, the games that are out now that are well over a million dollars are are like Mononoke Inu is not that good. And I think a lot of Godot developers are much, much more talented than these guys. So, you know, I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on, just 
100 million dollars <laughs> 100 million dollars for this no offense to Mononoke Ido, but this is 100 million dollars <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong I mean I, I have 100 dollars invested in Mononoke Ido, but uh, I mean just give me a million of that 100 million dollars and I'll make this 10 times better now, finally, I wanted to address the environmental concerns of the blockchain in general because a lot of people think that all blockchains are super harmful to the environment and that's what stops them from, from getting their hands into cryptocurrency. Now, while it's true that some blockchains like Ethereum and Bitcoin are still harmful, uh, a lot of uh, blockchain games are going to come out of Polygon. Uh, we can see here that compared to those blockchains, Polygon is so those blockchains are 35 to 140 and Polygon is I don't even know how how much lower this is because it's so low so it's almost negligible right it's on it's equal to just 122 passengers uh, passenger vehicles uh, let's look at engine engine right and look at that uh, engine are Engine, our partner with Godot, is planning to enable a carbon neutral NFTs by 2030. Wow. They're actually looking into eliminating the carbon emi carbon em carbon emissions altogether. So yeah, uh, as we can see here, uh, the only problems right now are Bitcoin and Ethereum networks. So blockchain gaming is not going to be in either of these two. I think we're good on the environment i mean um, give it a read before you go hippie on me by the way this video is brought to you by the go godot jam we're, we're doing great things here we're raising awareness for godot which is undoubtedly the best game engine it's it's free it's great the team is great it's open source it's, it's, it's the best if you're looking to start in game development check out godot and if you're looking to support the community check out the links in the description Good luck to all the jam participants and I'm sorry I couldn't participate because I'm so busy right now. Alright, well thanks for coming to my presentation. Bye.